last thing you're going to do is go into Overwolf and make sure, obviously, you install the mini-map. Uh, when you install it, you should install the latest version. You will see that the mini-map has this stream location button. If you click this, it's going to pop up this window. Do you want to pop open the browser? You're going to say, sure. What you'll see now is in your default browser, you'll see uh, the mini-map, and you'll see your location indicated by that circle with the arrow. Now what you want to do is you want to go to this website here, you want to download the latest PIP tool, you just click it, it'll download it, it'll ask you, once it's downloaded, it'll ask you to install it, and it'll be installed. So once that is installed, you are in New World, you click the stream button, it now bounces out to this stream, you see your map with your map location, you're going to go to your start, you're going to go to your search, and you're going to type PIP-tool. PIP-tool will pop up. You'll go ahead and you'll click on PIP-tool. You'll come up here. You'll see that this box has popped up. You'll click over here on your screen. Make sure that your arrow is center in the direct center. Once you know it's in the direct center, go ahead and click that check. Now you'll see that it is popped up. Click back in New World. You will now have the mini-map. You can go ahead and slide this up to your old minimap location. You can also resize it if you wanted to to make it smaller or larger. And click in. Go ahead and try moving around and make sure it updates. Now, a trick for this minimap in order to get it to work better, and I guess according to this it says you need a higher end PC, but go into your settings. Change your settings to always for your auto frequency. Close out of that. If you don't do that, the minimap's going to be a little slow. Um, now with it updated, you can see it's pretty much spot on. If you want to compare it with the other mini-map, you can kind of see that it, it uh, is following basically the exact same pattern. Now, once you have this all up and working and streaming properly, you can go ahead and hit your Alt-M to hide your previous mini-map. And there you go, you have a working mini-map. You can already see the resources that the non-browser minimap is not allowed to show are now visible in this picture-in-picture minimap, so no need for a second monitor. Have fun.